When you think of Idaho, I'll bet you think about potatoes. We're on a mission to find all the best potatoes here in Idaho, and I'm excited for it, because who doesn't love potatoes? This is going to be a culinary adventure all over the state, and we're excited to take you guys along for the adventure. So let's go and have an FNA day. What inspired you to come and buy a restaurant in Idaho? My wife. <laughs> I kept saying, you got to start another restaurant. You got to start a restaurant. And there was nothing that we could afford or get in Sacramento. That we and wanted. He looked at the lake and said, you can't replace you this You can't build view. a lake. Yeah. yeah, location is everything. Yeah. Yes. All right, he's going to show us how a potato becomes pasta. Let's do it. Our gnocchi starts as plain old mashed potatoes. And then we add two eggs and a whole lot of flour. It didn't seem like CJ had a recipe, but he's made so many batches of gnocchi, he's basically a master of it. And for him, it's all about the touch and feel of the dough. That's how he knows it's ready to roll. Now it's time to roll it out and make that classic gnocchi shape. It smells so good. Just potatoes. And then, so now comes the part you have to like roll it, do you? Uh, we just leave them like this. Okay, cool. Because, um, you know, that would be it's really whole, cool and all, but uh. <laughs> Here at Tony's on the Lake, they don't have time for all that fancy fork work. Their gnocchi is so popular that they've actually had to take it off of the main menu, and now it's on the secret menu for those in the know. I'm really excited to eat these, but there's a couple more steps before we can. Our little balls of potato goodness are boiled in super salty water. And you didn't think we could have a gnocchi without a delicious sauce, did you? CJ is whipping up a gorgonzola cream sauce. I'm excited for the final product. We'll know the gnocchi are done when Chef CJ gives them the seal of approval. Then they get plated with the delicious sauce, some Parmesan cheese, and fresh cherry tomatoes. It took a lot of work to get from a potato to gnocchi, but I think it was worth all the trouble. Oh my goodness. That's so good. <laughs> That's like phenomenally good. It's light and fluffy, but like creamy and cheesy. Perfect amount of salty. Oh my goodness. Do you go a whole piece or do you cut oh, it? Oh, a whole piece. You gotta get the whole thing in there. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. It's like heaven in my mouth. So good. It like explodes in your mouth with wow. flavor. I, like, that's my honest opinion too. Like, this is one of the most delicious things I think I've ever had. Hi, my name's Cheyenne D'Alessandro, and this is my family. And we have been here in Coeur d'Alene for 17 years now at Tony's on the Lake. It used to be Jeanette's. It was built in the 30s, and it was a bordello. And then Tony took it over in the 50s, opened a little restaurant, raised four kids upstairs. We're the fourth owner since Tony's, and we've kept it Tony's ever since. A throwback to the old days of Tony's <laughs> when it was Jeanette's. Yeah. Jeanette's. I love that. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Ooh, that's very good. Oh, yeah. That's real nice. Yeah. How's the camera feel? Good. Good. <laughs> Now we couldn't have a whole episode about potatoes without eating some french fries. We just pulled up to supposedly the best fry spot in all of Idaho, Boise Fry Company. Let's go check it out and see if they're really that good. Guard the house. We're ready to dig in. Everything looks absolutely delicious. We got three different kinds of potatoes cut in three different ways. Purple home style, gold curly string, and then all the crazy dipping sauces. Oh, I am excited. I know we're here for the fries, but that is a fresh vegan patty. I'm gonna take the purple fry. I'm gonna dip it in this blueberry ketchup. That's not all that bad. <laughs> I definitely expected something a lot worse. Mm, I can do that. Does Papa want a french fry? Does you Papi want a french, french fry? fry? Is this one better or is this one better? I think he liked them both. <laughs> <laughs> 
Boise Fry Company was absolutely delicious. Yes, I don't know was. if it's the best French fry I've ever had in my life. It's pretty good though. But those were very tasty. All the dipping sauces and the salts were really cool. I think what makes them so unique, all the different types of selections they have and the fact that they cut them differently every day. And they're all organic and locally sourced mm -hmm. here in Idaho. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, definitely worth checking out Boise Fry Company here in Boise. Paco agrees. So we just stopped at a random gas station on the way to the hot spring and we found this guy right here, an Idaho spud. Have you guys ever had one of these? We haven't. I'm excited to try it. The guy inside who's lived in Idaho for his whole life says that these were his favorite when he was a kid. Apparently they're shaped like a potato. Oh, look at that, there's the coconut. Does that look potato-y to it you? Says I guess kind of. Yeah, it's kind of got the potato shape. It looks shape. like a spud. Like a half open potato or something. It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like my favorite thing ever, but it's not bad. Is it the candy bar that made Idaho famous? Yes, it is. The one thing I would say is it's pretty good. I'm just not a big coconut fan. Like yeah. this coconut, you want to try? I don't know about this. Um, I kind of like it. It kind of tastes like, um, I want it to be ice cream, but it's not. Mm -hmm. But it's still very tasty. I feel like you have a bite and you're like, ooh, I gotta have another. Mm -hmm. Okay, back on the road. amazing potato dishes from Melt Extreme. First up, they have their scallop potatoes, which is a signature dish here. Nobody else, fast casual, makes this kind of scallop potato. It's a signature secret recipe. And that's why we couldn't film it. <laughs> oh my gosh, so cheesy, creamy. Nice. Oh. oh wow. It's so good, it's like salty, it's crunchy, it's creamy. That's like really delicious. That's so yummy. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna eat the whole thing. <laughs> yep. So they hand cut all these fries in house and then they season them with their secret seasoning. I don't know what the secret sauce they have with it too is, but it is so good. Mm. Sometimes you don't wanna know. Mm, I don't need to know. <laughs> This grilled cheese sandwich is the reason that we actually came here. It's loaded with potato chips. How crazy is that? Oh my God. It's like heaven, no? This place is dangerous. Very dangerous. In a good way. I could see why they're so popular. The jalapeno on it too is just like perfection. Just the right amount of kick you need. You hear that crunch? The crunch is amazing. Holy smoke. It's so good. <laughs> because of the location these guys are at, you could fill up and fuel up all at the same time. Well, Melts has been around for nine years now. Grilled cheese that never goes out of style. You never get sick of it. You never want to stop eating it, mainly because of how it's constructed. It's really well constructed. So a lot of grilled cheese for a lot of years made really well. A lot of potato chips fried. Oh, yeah. Coming to Idaho, you're gonna come here and get the true Idaho experience. It's right. Idaho russet, and that way you can get anything on a sandwich, on a side. And yeah. lots, of love, <laughs> lots of love, layered love. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Idaho loves potatoes so much, they put it on something that I never even imagined was possible. Today we're going to Front Porch Pizza here in New Meadows, Idaho to get their famous potato pie. As a New Yorker, I have a very high standard for pizza, but standing outside, I could smell how good that crust is just cooking inside that oven right now. Let's see how the front porch pizza does. The pizza looks so good before it was going into the oven, so I can't wait to see it when it comes out. Today we're getting one of the customer favorites, which is called the Great Potato Race. It has garlic white sauce, mozzarella, potatoes, cheddar cheese, chives, jalapeno, or regular bacon. What? All right, time to break it up and break in. This pizza smells 
so good. Ooh. I'm fairly impressed so far. I can tell That's it's a, a nice little bit crispy crust. A little bit crispy. Does it have the flop? Not really, but it's there, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't the whole thing of like if you can fold it? Yeah, I can't. I don't think I can fold this. No, this is too thick for folding. Uh, I, that's like kind of a fold, mm -hmm. but not really. Mm, that's pretty damn good. Okay. Let's grab one of these potato bits out of here. They kind of look like home fries. Yeah. Mmm. Potato on a pizza is good. It kind of tastes, it reminds me of like a fully loaded baked potato. Mm -hmm. Baked potato pizza. Honestly, I gotta say, this is pretty F and A. Mm -hmm. Front Porch Pizza definitely won the Great Potato Race. Oh. Did you really think we were gonna have an entire episode about potatoes and not include dessert? Today we are at Westside Diner and we're gonna be trying Chef Lou's famous potato ice cream. I used to come here when I was a kid. 28 years ago, I drove by it, saw a little for sale sign, and I thought, you know what, I wanna buy this. So I uh, ended up buying the drive-in. It's been a love story because it's just been a blessing to my family. My Both my kids have grown up in the business. My wife and I own this. It's just it's just been a lot of fun, labor of love. You know, we, we make almost everything from scratch. Boise uh, has been very good to us, and it's just one of those icon institutions that's been around forever. We're excited to dive in. Chef Lou's gonna put together some of his favorite dishes mm -hmm. that are classic Idaho, and of course we're gonna get to try your famous ice cream potato. Yes, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. So one of the absolute best things about Westside Drive-In is the fact that they are so dog friendly. Paco gets to come out and he's gonna have a delicious burger for himself. Oh my goodness, this is a ginormous serving. This burger looks like a human sized burger, but this is actually on their dog menu. So this whole thing is for Paco. This is his dinner for tonight. He is not getting any <laughs> other food other than that, because he's a little guy. Oh my God, how is he gonna eat this all? All right, now it's our turn. It's a deep fried steak, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Look at this. It comes with garlic toast, which looks amazing, and of course, some Idaho potato french fries. Wow. <laughs> what? Oh, and it's served with jelly. That is an absolute explosion of flavor. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, you're so welcome. Oh my gosh, do you see this thing? It looks like a legit potato. What is so incredible about this potato is it's actually all ice cream. They actually just carve it, so it makes this beautiful potato looking ice cream. It looks like it's stuffed, fully loaded, and ready to go. It's like a super vanilla ice cream. The outside must be coated in like cocoa powder or something to make it look like that potato skin. And then the inside is just delicious, authentic, classic vanilla ice cream. It's so good. If you're ever in Boise, Idaho, you have to come to Westside Drive-In. It is definitely one of the best spots to get a dessert as well as anything else on the menu. It's amazing and affordable. So the reason we actually came here is because when I saw this online, I thought it was a potato. You thought it was and a I potato? And like, I, I was imagining that it was gonna be a baked potato with ice cream inside of it. Mm. Which I was like, that sounds really interesting, but this is definitely better than that would have been. <laughs> So what did you guys think about all the potatoes and did we miss any of the best meals out here in Idaho? Let us know which your favorites were and which we should have visited while we were here so we can catch them next time. I know what my favorite was. It was the gnocchi. Oh my gosh, that was so good. But now we've got to leave the potatoes and head to Idaho's second most famous attraction, the Hot Springs. Click on this video right here so you can join us in the next F&A adventure. We'll see you there.